Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to What Shall We Do Next? I'm Mike, your host, and I hope you guys are having the best day ever. Before I get started guys, please subscribe if you are new here and you haven't already done that. We're on the road to 151,000 subscribers and I would love you to join me on this journey. So hit subscribe right now and join the fam. But what is going on you guys and welcome back and today we are coming back with another scary story. And this scary story is called... The Girl in the Mask. So, the story of The Girl in the Mask is a scary Halloween story about a young girl who asks her babysitter for ice cream. Now, I know that sounds really innocent, but I can assure you it's not innocent, guys. It is not innocent, okay? Ice cream is the devil. Anyone who eats ice cream, you're going to hell, okay? It is the devil. Now I'm just kidding. It's actually nothing to do with the ice cream at all. But I have read the story before, and it's actually a really good story, so I hope you guys enjoy it. But enough of the jibber jabber. Let's jump right over to the story. The Girl in the Mask There was a little girl named Holly who had just turned six years old. One Halloween night, her parents decided to celebrate their wedding anniversary by going out to a nice restaurant for dinner. Because it was Halloween, they had some trouble finding a babysitter for their daughter. Eventually, they called a teenage girl named Jessica who lived down the street and asked her if she could come over to babysit for them. When Jessica arrived, the parents gave their mobile phone number and told her to call them if there was an emergency. After they left, the babysitter fixed Holly some dinner and then sat down on the sofa to watch TV. When Holly finished eating, she asked, Can I have some dessert? Okay, replied Jessica. What would you like? Ice cream, said Holly, smiling ear to ear. The babysitter got up and searched through the fridge. I can't find any ice cream in here, she said. It's in the freezer in the basement, said Holly. Jessica opened the basement door and flicked the light switch, but the lights didn't turn on. She carefully made her way down the creaking steps into the basement. She eventually found the freezer and lifted the lid. As she took out a tub of vanilla ice cream, she happened to glance out the window. In the darkness, she saw a little girl with long blonde hair standing outside. The girl had a red t-shirt on and was standing with her back to the window. Jessica couldn't see her face, but she noticed that the girl was wearing something black on her head. The babysitter didn't pay much attention. It was only Halloween night, and there were a lot of children wandering around the neighborhood. She made her way back upstairs, put some ice cream in a bowl, and placed it in front of Holly. The little girl made a face. Can I have some chocolate syrup on it? She asked. Okay, where's that? Asked Jessica. In the basement, Holly replied. Jessica dutifully made her way down into the darkened basement. As she was searching for the chocolate syrup, she glanced out the window again. The little girl was still standing outside, but this time, she was facing the window. Jessica saw that she was wearing an unusual mask. It was black with red trim, and the mouth was covered in large, sharp, white teeth. It gave Jessica the creeps. The babysitter retrieved the chocolate syrup and walked back up the creaking stairs. In the kitchen, she poured the chocolate syrup on Holly's ice cream. Thanks, said Holly. Can I have some candy sprinkles on it too? Jessica sighed. Let me guess, they're in the basement. Yeah, giggled Holly. The babysitter headed back down the stairs into the darkened basement. As she rifled through the cabinets, she looked out the window and saw the same little girl in the mask standing outside. This time, the child was holding a large knife in her hand. Jessica became very uneasy. She tried to rationalize it. Perhaps it was part of the little girl's costume. However, it seemed odd that a child's parents would let her go around at night armed with a knife. Shuddering, Jessica found the candy sprinkles and ran up the stairs taking them two by two, anxious to get out of the basement. Thank you, squealed Holly happily as the babysitter shook the candy sprinkles on her ice cream. 
All it needs now is a cherry on top. Jessica stared at Holly in irritation. Are you sure that's all it needs? This is the last time I'm going into that basement. I promise, grinned Holly. The babysitter slowly descended into the darkness and opened the cabinet and found the cherries. Looking out the window, she noticed that there was no sign of the creepy little girl in the mask. Jessica breathed a sigh of relief. She was so glad that the girl was gone. The whole situation was beginning to freak her out. She picked up the package of cherries and climbed up the stairs for the last time. As she entered the kitchen, she was greeted by a horrible sight. Holly lay face down in her bowl of ice cream. A pool of blood was spreading around her on the table. Her little throat had been sliced open. Jessica screamed and dropped the cherries. She ran into the basement and locked the door behind her before dialing 911. She sat on the floor, tears streaming down her cheeks, desperately waiting for the police to arrive. After what seemed like an hour, she heard sirens outside and the sound of the front door being broken down. A policeman's voice called out to her and she unlocked the door. The police searched the house, but there was no trace of any intruder. A few minutes later, Holly's mother and father arrived. They were horrified to see their young daughter's corpse being carried out on a stretcher. The father sat on the steps outside, his head cradled in his hands. The tearful mother approached Jessica. Her eyes were red from crying. What happened? Asked the mother. Oh God, I'm so sorry, said the babysitter, trembling with emotion. I was down in the basement. I looked out the window. There, there was a little girl in a mask. She had a knife. She was just standing outside the window. She must have murdered Holly. But Jessica, that's impossible, said the mother. There aren't any windows in the basement, only a mirror. That story gave me chills, man. <laughs> okay, that is a really scary story. Like, I love that story so much. I don't know if you guys totally got the story at the end, but there's a little twist there. So Jessica thought there was a basement window and she could see this little girl outside the window with a knife. And Jessica's mom, I mean, Holly's mom, Holly's the little girl who died upstairs. Holly's mom said there is no windows in the basement. So when Jessica was down there getting all this stuff for the girl's ice cream, she was looking in a mirror which means that she could see she thought it was a window but she could see the girl which means that the girl with the knife was actually in the basement with her which is freaking terrifying holy shit but i hope you guys enjoyed that story if you did please hit the like button down below let's see if we can go for 10 billion likes on this video i would really appreciate that and my question to all of you for question of the day is who do you think this little girl was the girl with the mask who do you think it was that is my question to all of you for question of the day but thank you all so much for watching this video i love you all and remember the most important thing chase your dreams and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys enjoy my videos and you would like to support me and my channel more you can go over to my patreon link is in the description i would really appreciate any help you guys have to offer and you can become a patron of mine over there as you can see we have different tiers and different rewards so if you guys want to go check it out i would really appreciate that every little helps thank you so much and if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on that way you don't miss any future uploads and also guys go follow me on all my social media links are in the description i have facebook twitter instagram and even snapchat so go follow me on all of those and remember the most important thing i love you guys and chase your dreams